Well, the Berenstain Bears and Too Much TV by Stan and Jan Berenstain, as read by former elementary school teacher Jeff Babcock. That's me. The Berenstain Bears and Too Much TV. Stan and Jan Berenstain. Well, it was a fine spring day in Bear County, country, Bear Country, and the bluebirds were singing, the, the trout were leaping, <clears throat> and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside the family's treehouse, fixing brother and sister Bear's after-school snack. Well, brother and sister got off the school bus and they came in the kitchen with, a <clears throat> with hardly a hel hello. And then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and they switched on the TV. Well, <clears throat> there's no question about it, thought Mama Bear. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop <clears throat> and joined brother and sister, Mama Bear became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole Bear family is watching too much TV. I love the Nutty Bear show. That's a great show. Well, she wasn't quite sure how it happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy pictured black and white TV set. Any of you have a, any memories of a fuzzy old black and white? And white TV set. I remember that. I remember that. But I'm an old an old timer. But I remember our black and white TV set. Well, the, the TV set broke down, and they got a brand new big color set. Okay, or maybe it started when Papa Bear uh, put the big antenna up on top of the treehouse and brought in pictures from all over Bear country. Of course, the Berenstain Bears, they didn't have cable back in those days. So all they had was the antenna. But today, we can watch anything, anywhere, anytime on cable. The internet, right? But however it happened, one thing was sure. The Bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table, but not lately. Lately, they just sat around and they chewed. And the Cubs, they had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy watching Nutty Bear and the Bear Stooges. Well, that evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said her piece. We've been watching altogether too much television around here. Oh, but Mama, said brother, Nutty Bear is coming on and we'll miss it. Uh, and the, the Bear Stooges, added sister. Well, well, you'll just have to miss them, said Mama firmly. And furthermore, she added, you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for a whole week. No TV for a week, said the shocked cub. Oh, but Mama! 
Ne never mind the the butts," said Papa Bear. Your, your mother is absolutely right. There is a lot more to life than TV. Well, like homework, for instance. And f and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show that I want to watch. Just a moment, Papa, said Mama Bear. No TV for a week means you too. What? What? said Papa. Well, you, you can't be serious. But Mama was very serious. Well, what, what about the news? protested Papa. I, I, I won't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called the newspaper. Well, and the weather, continued Papa. How, how, how will I know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. Well, well what are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk? Asked Brother. That'll be fine, for starters, said Mama, settling comfortably into her rocker. But it had been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked that they had sort of forgotten how. It really didn't matter because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and he snored so loudly that they wouldn't have been able to hear each other anyway. Well, after school the next day, the cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out to play. Brother's bike had a tire that needed pumping up, and sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange not watching television, it was fun riding bikes and trikes again. Well, sort of. Well, that evening, the Cubs worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring. And then Sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper, an ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said, look, a special. No TV for a week means no TV for a week, answered Mama. And besides, Mother Nature has a much bigger special waiting for us outside. We're all going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. Watch the stars come out, complained Sister. Oh, I don't know if I can stand the excitement, said Brother. But as they sat out under the great sky, a spell came over the bears. And it was all so big and beautiful, and the bears, they stared at the sky. So far, not a single star. Look, look, cried Sister, S something flying. Oh, those are bats, said Papa. Out uh, there for uh, their breakfast of insects. Breakfast? asked Brother. Oh, that's right, answered Papa. Their bats sleep during the day, so this is their uh, breakfast time. Oh, oh, I see a star, cried Sister. She had found the first tiny star. And soon there were others. And after a while, the whole sky was full of stars. And it was very special, more special than anything they'd ever seen on TV. And it was a sharper picture, too. And a much, much, much bigger screen. 
Well, the Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days. So interesting that they hardly thought about TV. They went on a nature walk and they watched tadpoles hatch out of eggs and they watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. And they went shopping at the Bear Country Mall. Sister used some of her savings to buy a knitting spool and some yarn. And brother bought a cute puzzle. They did have to keep an eye on Papa, though. When they were at the mall, the cubs caught Papa in the TV store, sneaking a look at a game show. Another time he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at the late, late movie. But Mama and the cubs stopped him just in time. Well, the next evening, it was the last day of their no TV week. The Bear family was having a lively conversation at the dinner table, and they all agreed that the week had been a success. But Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama, I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit, sitting in front of it day after day, like old stumps waiting for dry rot to set in. Well, said Brother, Tomorrow I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. Me too, said sister. Me too, said papa. But the only one who did watch it all day was papa. Brother got interested in his cube puzzle and finally he solved it and sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. And then finally, even Papa had enough, and he decided to bait his hook for a couple of those leaping trout. Okay, that is the end of the Berenstain Bears book, Too Much TV. And I'll bet all of you can relate to that problem. Okay, see you next time. Thanks.